What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm really excited because we are about to turn up the glow, well, I think we are, and today I will be reviewing and doing a little first impressions on the new Anastasia Beverly Hills Nicole Guerrero collaboration. Now they teamed up and combined forces and they created a glow kit. Now what does that mean if you've never heard of Anastasia before, which you must be living under a bridge if you've never heard of her or her brand. But um, they make amazing, amazing highlighters. And of course, you guys know I've used this brand on my channel a million times. I cannot go a day without using the dip brow for my eyebrows. And they're just an amazing brand all around. But of course, we are going to test this. We're going to swatch it. We're going to put it on my face. And we're going to see if this is Jeffree Star approved. I've never personally met Nicole Guerrero myself, but I know that she has been a beauty YouTuber and a lifestyle like vlogger for a minute and I really like her videos. There's this really amazing series on her channel where she's in the car talking almost like a confessionals type of thing and she also does really dope makeup. So if you guys wanna see me swatch and dip into this palette, then keep on watching. So the palette has a slip cover that comes off. Woo, bam. Now on the back of both of them, it has all the information. So I did a little research on this myself and I found out that this product will be $40. And I know that it's launching on their website and I think Sephora on March 3rd. And then I think it's in stores on March 15th. So if you're not an online shopper, which who the hell is not an online shopper, girl? Then you gotta go in stores to pick this baby up. So this palette comes with six gorgeous shades. These are all metallic highlighters, of course. Now, the normal glow kits, I think it's the same weight for everything, but these are actually six circles, and I know the palettes vary. Sometimes they're squared pans, sometimes there's only four. So this one comes with six, which I'm like, oh, okay, bitch, you're gonna do a collaboration. They're gonna do a motherfucking collaboration. Now, right off the bat, you guys, Kitty Cat and Forever lit I am dying to like mix them together on my cheekbones it's like speaking to me the net weight is 4.5 grams which is 0.16 ounces each which is a really nice amount of product and also I want to note that this palette is vegan and it is cruelty free holler and I guess let's just dive into some swatches you guys now I am gonna swatch them on my fingers and on my arm and then I'm gonna test out some on my cheeks and we're just gonna glow so I think let's dive into this and let's do some swatches. All right, so you see the pans are untouched. I have not even swatched them with my fingers yet, which we will do in a minute, but I do wanna rub a few on my cheeks and see how much the glow is, if they're good or not, how the formula works on my face. I really wanna try Kitty Cat first. I think it is such a unique shade. It looks like a peachy, like, I don't know. It's like a peachy warm vibe. I'm living for it and I see that sparkle and I'm addicted to the sparkle. So I am going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills A23 brush. If you wanna pack on the highlight and you wanna beam from outer space, then this is for you. So I am just going to take the brush and first of all, let's see how pigmented this is with a little swirl. Ooh, you guys see that pigment? Okay. There's really no fallout, which is amazing. Just swirling it around. It didn't go everywhere, which I appreciate. Let's go on these cheekbones and see what happens. Oh! Oh my God, holy, oh, it almost looks wet. It's so beautiful. I'm sitting here like, oh, okay. Oh my God. Okay, I'm adding on more. You guys thought that was it? I'm sorry. I'm like, contour what? We don't even need contour today. Like this is, okay. Mom is a little shook and shocked. I am shooken. What does that mean? I am shocked and shaken all at the same time. Okay, I'm gonna add on a little bit more because you know this bitch likes the real severe glow. It goes on instantly. There's not a lot of fallout, so my nose is not covered in glitter. It's not chalky, thank God. I do not like chalky highlighters. I mean, who does? It is like, it almost looks like wet metal. It's kind of like just dripped down my face. <laughs> um, wow. This is beautiful. Okay, well I wanna try another shade on my cheek and then I wanna put another one on top of this one because you think one highlighter is enough? So this color right here, Daydream, it's basically like, it looks like an orange highlighter which I think is really unique and really fun. I've never really seen a color like this done. So anything unique, you know I'm all about. So I also have, you know I have like five of these brushes just for the record, so this brush is clean as you can see and I am just going to dab into there. I'm a little scared of orange. Like, I don't really wear orange. I am very cool toned. Today I have on warm toned contour and warm toned eyes. So, let's see what this looks like. Whoa. Okay, I'm going in for the second time. 
Whoa, you guys, I don't think, and I'm gonna say this on the record, I don't think I've ever worn a highlighter this shade before. It is really different. It's almost like a sunrise on your cheekbones. Now, to me, this shade Daydream is not as blinding as Kitty Cat, but it's still blinding. Like, it's not like, oh, it's subtle. It's there. It's really there. I think it meshed really well with my contour. So I do, I do want to note that when I did dip into Daydream, it was a, had a little more fallout, but hi, it's a highlighter. It's powder. Things are gonna have some fallout sometimes. So I don't really think that's a negative. I'm one of those people that just goes like this. <sighs> Next. Now, before I do any swatches on my hand, I do want to take a clean brush. So we'll take this little fan brush. And I wanna dip into the shade Forever Lit. Now, I hope my lights are doing the shade justice because Forever Lit is like this beautiful icy white tone, but it has this reflex pearl of almost like a baby blue lavender. So let's dip into her and see what happens. I'm gonna coat this brush, okay? You guys thought this, you thought this glow was crazy? Wait till we add this bitch on. Oh, holy shit! When I tell you the watts of the glow are fucking turned up, I just wanna do a little side turn, a little, if you will. <laughs> wow, those two together though? Okay, I, I think I know what my go-to summer look's gonna be for, for a minute. Let's keep it really real here. All right, this side, I think I wanna add on another color because why not, I mean, honestly. Now this shade Glow Getter right here looks to be a really pretty golden highlighter. So I am going to take this fan brush Bam! And I'm gonna dip into her, and then we're gonna layer it just a tiny bit on top of the Daydream. Oh, wait a minute. These two though, these two though, you guys see that glue at home or what? These combinations though, if you're someone that just likes one highlighter, I want you to please do me a favor. Next time you get ready, add on two, maybe three if you're feeling daring, but at least try two because I think mixing and matching colors, like it turns out, like I still can't get over this. It just turns out amazing. All right, now I do want to take a brush and I want to do a little bit of brow highlight because we cannot, we can't just not do the brow highlight. Now I am going to take Kitty Cat one more time with this little Morphe detailer brush and I just want to put this right under my brow bone and see what happens. Do you like how that already made my brow look a little lifted? I'm like, oh, okay. Wow, the reflex on that is really stunning. I'm not over it. I'm like, okay, so I'll add a little more. Now this shade up here, Forever Young, I haven't dipped into it yet. It looks like a, almost like a champagne warm tone color with kind of some silver I see in there. So let me just put this below the brow and see how it looks. The reflex on this one, not that any of their previous glow kits were like, you know, subdued or anything, but I feel like they really turned up the glow for this palette. I'm like, I, I, I can't get over this. I'm like, huh. All right, I think it's only fair that we do the Cupid's bow because you guys know that it's a Jeffree Star staple. So I think I'm gonna go in with Forever Lit. You know, just do a tiny bit right here. Mm-hmm. Even a little maybe on the, you know, Cupid's bow and the lip. Uh-huh. <gasps> Oh my god, look at the highlighter over this lip. It's like Barbie is having a moment. I think I'm gonna do some swatches on my hand just so we can see all the colors right here. And I mean, we tested out the face. I'm, I'm, I can't get over it. I'm like, wow, okay. My lights might break. My camera is like, what in the hell is going on? So I'm gonna take this palette, you guys, and I'm just gonna swatch them with my fingers as well and just put them on my hand because I didn't try out the shade 143. I think it's a little too dark for me. I'm a pasty ass bitch, so maybe I can use this for on the lid. Obviously highlighters can be used for eyeshadow for the inner corner. So I'm definitely gonna be using this in, you know, in the future for smoky eyes. But right now, mom was just gonna test them on their fingers. All right, this is shade Kitty Cat. Such a gorgeous color. I'm like not over it. And then here is shade Forever Young. And then here is that beautiful orange daydream. Ooh, yes. And then we have the lightest shade forever lit. The reflex on this one though is like insane off the charts. I'm like, holy shit. And then we have the fifth shade, which is glow getter, that beautiful gold. We're just gonna put this one right here. Bam. And then here is the final shade. It is like a beautiful, more dark toned gold. And ooh, yes. 
So here are all six of the shades swatched on my hands. I really don't know if I have a favorite yet. I really think that Forever Lit and Kitty Cat are, I think, the winners for me. I'm, I'm obsessed with this combination. I'm kind of in love with it, you guys, not gonna lie. So obviously this is gonna be no shock to anybody, but the Anastasia Beverly Hills Nicole Guerrero Glow Kit, it's Jeffree Star approved. Duh, I mean, you guys saw it firsthand on camera. It's blinding, there's no smoke and mirrors. It's just fucking sickening, and I appreciate a product that does exactly what it says. This will be my makeup kit for the next few months, and I can't wait to see what else this brand puts out next. So final thought, Nicole and Norvina, you guys fucking slayed this palette. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you loved it, and like Manny says, you know what the drill is. I'll see you guys in the next one. Mwah. <laughs> Bye, guys.